international isolation, industrial collapse, dozens of international companies quit the Russian market. Western sanctions are slowly but surely destroying the Russian economy. However, the Putin regime itself is coping with this task of destroying the economy even faster and more successfully. Let's take, for example, the mobilization. Hundreds of thousands of men have been pulled out of their jobs and sent to the war. More than half a million have fled the country. And first of all, these are the most able-bodied people. This means that almost a million of Russians have experienced a sharp decline in both productivity and consumption. This will make the Russian economy very unstable and in the long term will lead to its serious recession. This is most strongly reflected in the economy, which is concentrated on resource extraction. This is not a service economy like in the European Union, where the labor productivity of women and men is almost identical. The shortage of qualified personnel will primarily affect small enterprises. According to Russian entrepreneurs, in the coming weeks almost all small and medium-sized businesses will begin to close. The small and medium-sized businesses are the ones where people perform several functions. Therefore, taking out one person leads to the collapse of the entire system. The large businesses can replace the missing personnel. They can refuse completely from some functions. But small and medium-sized businesses cannot refuse anything. Therefore, this all will affect them in the first place. As unemployment will occur, after all, along with the closure of enterprises, the labor market will also shrink. Experts predict that 4 million Russians will be left without income in the year to follow. At the end of the year, many will feel the difference in their own worldview. Russia will actually turn into one depressive region, and only small islands of enterprises close to the authorities will prosper and the staff who serve them. Consequently, problems in the economy provoke a demographic crisis. However, it began to unfold in Russia as far as a few years ago. According to the UN forecast, by 2050 Russia will lose another 12 million people and will already be the 15th in the world in terms of population. Demographers had recorded the shortage of men in Russia even before the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. 87 men for every 100 women. This situation is worse than in Zimbabwe or Guadeloupe. Men are dying faster. Their problem is that many men work in heavy enterprises. If we take sociology into account, many cases of risky behavior. The last two years have been very problematic due to the pandemic. Tens of thousands of men have already been killed in the war in Ukraine. Hundreds of thousands were mobilized. Most of them will probably not return home. And more than half a million men have fled the country. The Russian demographic crisis is only deepening over time, although the Kremlin is doing its best to hide the scale of the tragedy. It is impossible to see the consequences of the war in the statistics that you see on the Federal State Statistics Service website. They could be seen in the detailed statistics with the distribution of the number of killed servicemen by the same age groups, by sex, by region, but the Federal State Statistics Service has stopped providing such information. It is clear that the killed men were very poorly taken into account. Perhaps they are considered missing. Perhaps after six months or two years from now, they will start to be shown up in the statistics. Or they won't. Alexey Raksha, Russian demographer, from an interview with Radio Liberty. It would be possible to stop the demographic crisis by increasing financial payments to families of the children. But the Kremlin is not in a hurry to do this, which is not surprising. After all, the Putin regime has repeatedly proved that officials prefer personal enrichment and the satisfaction of imperial ambitions to the lives of ordinary citizens. For comparison, according to Forbes, Moscow spends $400 million a day on the war against Ukraine, while there is no money to increase pensions or payments for the birth of children. In the coming years, our country is likely to have an anti-record in terms of the birth rate over the past 250 years. This will eventually lead to an increase in the proportion of pensioners and in the retirement age, a decrease in the amount of pensions and in the working population, and as a result, a slowdown in growth or a reduction in the gross domestic product and a decrease in the pace of economic development. Alexey Raksha, Russian demographer, in an interview with Novi Prospect. According to predictions of the experts, the 2020s for Russia will become even more severe than the notorious 1990s. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Ksenia Barvinenko, UATV News.